Greetings, fellow traveller. Oh. Hey, hi. Trying to get the energy up because I recorded for about a couple of minutes and then realised that I'd muted it. You know that Midnight Gospel fan art that I did? I posted it to Twitter. I don't like Twitter. I don't really use it. Um, I don't get, you know, don't share a lot, whatever. Don't get too many likes or share, what, whatever. But I posted that Midnight Gospel fan art and guess what? Duncan Trussell saw it. Duncan Trussell saw it. He commented. He said, ooh. He liked it. And then he got loads of likes and loads of retweets. And it was rad. I, I mean, it was cool that all those people saw it. But it was just mainly really cool that Duncan Trussell saw it. And he liked it. I was super hyped. And then speaking of fan art, uh, you know what? I was on the fan art train. And I just wanted to do some more. Um, I saw that there was that hashtag six characters thing floating around um, where people give you characters to do, draw fan art of. And that's what this video is. I shared this with like my YouTube realm. Uh, I shared it on my Instagram. So I got people, lots of people from Instagram um, um, suggesting uh, characters and stuff. Um, so yeah, sorry if I didn't choose your one. I got loads. I had loads to choose from. Um, it was really cool. Maybe I'll do it again sometime. Who knows? Um, in general, though, the reason why I picked the people that I did was just because I kind of just felt disingenuous picking characters that I didn't really know too well. I, I understand that some people did this tag to get random characters that they had no idea about and just to get their own, like, take, their own version of the character. I get that some people did that. But I was kind of looking at it like, I don't know who this person is. I feel like I can't, I can't get the essence. I can't get to the core of the character. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is, I don't know all these cool things that you know. That's what the main issue is. You gave me some rad characters. Guess what? I haven't even fucking seen JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm sorry. Kept it kind of loose, kept it sketchy, got the old HB pencil brush out. Um, it's quite simple, but I liked it. Um, so I'll post it on Instagram sometime soon, I'm sure. But yeah, the Duncan Trussell thing was super rad and I've been listening to his podcast more. Um, he's a really cool guy. I think, uh, I think at, at one level, I feel like people that maybe wouldn't enjoy his podcast, um, which is called the Duncan Trussell Family Hour podcast, I think. Um, it's got a really funny, like, intro song that uh, gets me, it's so happy and funny, uh, that kind of makes me smile every time I hear it. It's like this quarter, it's like a kid's like TV show, like song, where it's like these kids just singing like, welcome, welcome all of you, welcome to, anyway, um, I feel like maybe people who wouldn't vibe with the podcast, you know, could, I could see an argument, like, uh, look, what am I doing? I'm imagining someone that I wouldn't like get on with. I'm, I'm creating conflict in my own mind, but what I'm just saying is I can imagine people sometimes might, and I'm sure Duncan knows full well, like it's his life, it's his, it's his entity that's dealing with this, um, but I'm sure like at one level he might get a lot of like, oh, he's just sort of like a stoner, like some sort of stoner philosophy kind of guy. Um, but I just, I truly don't think that that's like accurate and I think that he's he's a great speaker great at talking about ideas being open to new ideas he's great at chatting to the guests that he has on because he's not he, he I feel like he chooses great people great thinkers you know he lets them talk but he's not afraid to sort of try and talk about his 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 own beliefs without hiding anything even if they sound as hippy dippy as he knows that they do um it's great. It's just a great listen. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling about Duncan Trussell and how cool he is. He commented on my art and he was like, ooh, um, that's enough of me. One thing that's been going on recently, less other than art and fan arts and stuff and Twitter and things like that and memes, other than that, what's been going on? I hope you're doing all right. I hope you're doing well out there. Things are still weird. Governments are shit. They don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on, but do we? We know. You know. I think you do. Deep down, you're here. 
So you know what's important. But yeah, no, genuinely, I hope you're doing all right because, you know, fuck, you, you, you see some crazy news going around and horrible stuff happening. And then you think, fuck, why isn't the government doing anything about it? Then you realize that it's because all they're doing is serving themselves and the elite and they, we're expendable. No, but truly, I hope you're doing all right. What have you been doing to cope? Uh, if you've, you know, how are things? Oh yeah, that was it. That, that was it. The, we're on board. The cogs have turned. I've remembered what I mentioned a minute ago. Um, I don't do any exercise. Me and my girlfriend have started, we've, we've ordered, I've, I've got some running shoes. I've got fucking running shoes. I don't, I've, I've never gone out running in this, that way, where you just go for a run. I used to cycle a lot, but my bike got nicked a few years ago. It got kicked in and nicked in the city. So don't have a bike anymore. It was like crazy colors. I'd spray painted it crazy colors. It got nicked or, or I don't know. But that's gone. So we're gonna start running because I don't do any exercise. I'm just sitting around typing and writing and drawing. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be good for me. Um, uh, and another thing that I've started doing, another step in my career as a long haired hippie man, I've started doing yoga. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, fuck, he started doing yoga. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope, isn't it? He's doing fucking yoga. Why is he t telling me he's doing yoga? Is he rubbing it in my face? I, what sort of ridiculous man is he doing yoga? In my part-time job, I used to be carrying boxes all the time, going up and down stairs, helping customers, carrying stuff. That genuinely was quite a good form of exercise. I would walk to work, I'm always on my feet. So now I feel like I've got to do something. And I've always been interested in yoga because of its sort of combination of meditative practice, but also exercise. So genuinely, I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now, every day, 20 minutes a day, or like half an hour a day. It's a full body workout. Um, you, you know, you feel a bit silly at, uh, to begin with, like doing these poses and whatever, but it genuinely helps, like it's good. You notice how little you're breathing and that just by simply deeply breathing, you can sort of, it really helps um, ground you in the moment. Like if you're worrying a lot, breathing exercises. Don't call it meditation if you don't think that like meditation is for you. Just do breathing exercises and it will it will help anxiety and lots of things. Um, genuinely recommend. Anyway, so I found this YouTuber called Yoga with Adrian. It's like one of the most subscribed yoga channels on YouTube, didn't realize. But um, I started watching her videos because I, I skimmed through a few and you know, a lot of them were just like, hey, welcome to yoga, dude. Welcome, you wanna do yoga? Sweet, you're gonna need it. And I was like, nah, I just need someone straight talking. So she's like, she's pretty straight talking. You know, she says some sort of like yoga-y phrases, but most of the time she's just very plain talking, get straight to the point. Um, and it's good, she's good. Recommend. Shit, look at me go. Going for runs, well I will be, and, and yoga. Fuck. As well as this, big drum roll, I have started, and I'm quite far into, typing out a first draft of my graphic novel. Whoa, I, I, I fully understand that it has literally been years. I have mentioned my graphic novel idea on this channel years ago. I got comments from people being like, oh cool, that's rad that you're doing it, can't wait blah, 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 and then, you know, that would be it. I would I would sketch out a few characters, sketch out a few, like, shots, but basically not really write it, just think, constantly think about this story. The other day, I sort of sat down, I wanted to start, like, thumbnailing out the whole thing, and I realized, I was like, you know what, I haven't actually fucking written down the story beats. One thing that helped me was uh, obviously uh, I'm sure you're you're in a similar boat, but you know stories run away with themselves. When you when you when you want to create something, you've got a story idea. Um, they seem to just grow and grow and grow until you're imagining this epic saga in your head that you haven't even done anything with. 
you're imagining like the grand plan and you haven't thought about the minutia. You haven't thought about the scene by scene story. And I certainly hadn't. What better way to spend a global pandemic than sort of finally starting that, finally starting that graphic novel that you've been putting off? A. Eh? Although the drawing part, the illustrating part is still scary in itself, I'm obviously a bit more confident in that area than I am the actual story writing. This isn't just yet again me talking about it. I have actually started it, got a few pages in, um, done a lot of typing. I'm, I'm laying stuff out. It's not quite like a fully written story and it's not quite like just bullet points. Um, it's somewhere in between where, you know, I'm writing descriptions and I'm writing dialogue, but I'm maybe being a bit simplistic. It's almost, I think it's like quite an interesting technique maybe that maybe I should try. But um, read it when you read a comic or graphic novel, maybe type out what is happening in the page. Type it out and then you could you could see how much text in written form is a comic page. A whole page could just be a, a few words. You know what I mean? You know, I'm not going to talk about it more on this channel, really, because I think I've just got to shut up and do it. But we'll see. The future, it may not be bright, but hopefully it, there still is one. What have I been saying? Yeah, well, look, look after yourself. Do some do some running. Um, watch these things. What, what have we got? What have we got? We've got... Um, Chihiro from Spirited Away, Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, we got Huntress Wizard from Adventure Time, Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians. That was a suggestion from one of my friends back home and she, she loves animation and DreamWorks and stuff like that. We got Spike from Cowboy Bebop and we've also got Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. What a squad? What a team. I might do this again, who knows? Go to my Instagram. I've posted lots of my Jungle Nomad stuff on there recently. Yeah, I'm I'm reading books, I'm drawing things, I'm doing yoga. I'm My sleep schedule's way off. I'm going to bed at like 2, 3 a.m., getting up at 11, 12. It's a problem. That's an update from me. I hope you're doing all right out there in the universe. Um, you're, you're, you're rad. You're rad because you're here. Fuck. This is a tiny little channel, a tiny little art channel. But maybe, just maybe, this type of thing is what YouTube should have more of. Eh, question? Feeling, boosting my ego there, just pumping it out, saying that. I'm not saying I'm the answer. No. Just feel like, you know, just make shit. Make shit. Who gives a shit? Make something. Do something. Post it. Blah, that's all I'm doing. That's all anyone's doing. No one's better than you. I'm going crazy. I'm going mad. Maybe I'm getting... Maybe. Just maybe.